there's these two guys and they're stranded in the desert just walking along I think their car broke down maybe maybe they couldn't find a camel to cut open and eat the ass of but anyway they're walking along in the desert and they're starving of thirst and they come across a tiny little shack first the ones like this is a mirage and the other ones like no it's not it's not a mirage asshole anyway they run up to the door and they start knocking on it and the lady that answers the door is hideous oh oh what do you want? We would love some water if you could give us some water. We've been in the desert for six days. I'm starving. Please, just a little water. Oh, I'd love to give you some water. But I'm so alone here that I require that you have sex with me before I give you the water. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a weird request from the lady. But, you know, she seemed to be, like, really into it. And the one guy was like... <laughs> I would rather die in the desert than have sex with you, hideous woman. And then the other guy was like, Okay, I'll do it. So the second guy goes into the house with her. He walks her into the kitchen, and there's all this corn on the cob on the table. So he tells the lady, look, if you turn around and put your hands on the stove and close your eyes, we can get this party started. Oh, a little freaky deaky. Okay. So the guy takes the corn of the cob and starts ramming her with it, sexually. You like that? You like that? Yeah, I bet you do. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. And he's just ramming her and ramming her with the corn on the cob. And then when she's about to turn around, he takes the corn and he throws it out the window. Oh, God, I gotta get rid of this corn. Ha! Ah. So she gives the guy some water. Here you go, lover boy. Yes, thank you for the water. Can I get some for my friend, too? Okay, but you have to do it again. Yeah, okay, whatever, get against the wall. So he gets the corn, he starts jamming her again. And then he takes that corn, throws it out the window, gets a nice thermos of water, and walks out to his friend who was waiting outside. Hey, I, I got you some water. Forget the water, buddy. Bring out some more of that buttered corn you've been throwing out the window. Buttered corn you've been throwing out the window. Buttered corn. And the cob. Oh. Thank you, Mark Burnett, for that. Okay, well, there. Now you kind of have an idea and where I'd like to go with the show. So I don't really have too many hats, but uh, i got a few. got a few. So we'll see how far we can get with this. I might even give my address out if you guys feel like sending me hats. Then you might even see your own hat on the show. Crazy. All right, well, thanks for everyone who's been voting. We're actually ahead by 300 points. We were down by 3,000 yesterday. Now we're up by, by like 300. So I want to say thank you to everybody who's been voting. I really appreciate it. I love you very much. And uh, continue voting because, you know, we're only up by 300 and we could lose. But we're winning right now. So let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the happy time winning face. Ah, yes, we winners. Okay? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow with another joke.